I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers. We have crossed 100,000 subscribers. That's a great thing. And it seems that most of our viewers are interested in competitive exams these days. So we have a lot of requests from Waterloo Math Contest and similar contests worldwide. So today, I'll take up a couple of questions for grade 11 students. They have uh, this exam day after tomorrow, so and, and I hope the concepts learned will help them. Sorry for a bad print of the question, which I just copied from the contest papers, past papers. So in this video, we'll talk about question number 19, which is for grade 7 students. This question appeared last year in 2019. Waterloo contest for grade 11 format. The question is based on the concepts of functions. The function f has properties that f of 1 is equal to 6. Let me rewrite this. So we are given that f of 1 is equal to 6 and f of 2x plus 1 is 3 times f of x and we are also given that f of 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 times f of x. For every integer, so x values are integer values, what is the value of f of 63? So what we need to figure out is what is f of 63 equal to, right? So, so now I hope the question is absolutely clear. Of course, we have five choices here. Let us see how to work it out. You can also pause the video now, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. That'd be great. Okay, so we want what is f of 63. So we'll follow iterative method to actually solve this question, right? So we will do iterative method. To solve this question. So when we are given f of 1, so that means 3 times f of 1 is known to us. We can place different values of x to find the series and then get to f of 63, correct? So that's a very systematic way of doing it. So I'll substitute x equals to 1. So if I substitute x equals to 1 here, I get f of 2 times 1 plus 1, and that should be equal to 3 times f of 1, correct? Now that is 2 times 1 is 1, 2, and plus 1 is 3. So we get the value of f of 3, which will be 3 times f of 1 is given to us as 6. Perfect. So it is 18. So we get the value of f of 3. Now since we know f of 3, we can actually go to x equals to 3. So if I substitute x equals to 3 here, then we have f of 2 times 3 plus 1, and that should be equals to 3 times f of 3. So we are using the original equation, and that simply gives you, let me rewrite these terms on this side now. So that gives you that f of 6 plus 1, 7 is equal to 3 times f of 3, which is 3 times 18, and that is 54. Now let's substitute x equals to 4. Uh, now we know what is x7. So we'll substitute 7 now. Okay. So that means f of 2 times 7 plus 1 is 3 times f of 7. So that means that we have the value now of 15 f of 15 is equal to 3 times 54, which is 3 times 4 is 12, 1 is 162, right? So we get 162 as the value for f of 7. Now we know what is f of 15, so we can substitute x equals to 15, and we get f of 2 times 15 plus 1, which is equal to 3 times f of 15. And that will give you the value for f of 31. So f of 31 is 
3 times 162. 3 times 2 is 6, 18 and 1, so we get 486. Now we know what is f of 31, we can place this value. So if I substitute x equals to 31, we get f times 2 times 31 plus 1. That should be 3 times f of 31. So that gives you the value of f of 62 plus 163, what we really need, right? 3 times 486. And that gives you 3 times 6 is 18 and 1, 24 and 1 is 25. 12 and 2 is 14. So we get 1458, which is our option number D, right? 1458. So we have our answer that F of 63 is equal to 1458, which is option 1458, sorry, which is option D. Perfect. So that is how you could actually solve this question systematically. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. Also, look into more questions from this test paper in the following videos. Thanks for your time and all the best.